Hi, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Today I want to play around with ink. Pen and ink are really fun, but today I'm not going to use a dip pen to combine with my um, India ink, but I am going to use skewers, bamboo skewers that I found in the kitchen drawer. Haven't used them for quite a while, and now I got a perfect use for them. Okay, so the common tools to use with ink are a dip pen with a steel nib or a bamboo dip pen. In the kitchen drawer, I found a few different sizes of bamboo skewers to experiment with as my art tools today. Grab whatever you have and make some lines and marks to find out about their line quality. The dip pen gives a beautiful strong line with a lot of variation. You can control the width of the line with the pressure you put on the nib. The bamboo dip pen gives a bolder line. You have a bit less control, but you can get a lot of variation in line thickness by using the different sides of the tip as well. When the ink is running out, you get beautifully textured lines. Now for the bamboo skewers. Again, not much control over your line and you get unexpected drops or blobs of ink but of course you can make use of the effect. I have three different sizes of skewers and they all kind of give me the same effect. Like with the bamboo dip pen, you can get really great textured lines when the stick gets a bit drier. And by the way, if you don't have any bamboo skewers, you could also find small sticks outside that you could use. Let's add a bit of color too. I am using Ecoline, which is like ink, but it is liquid watercolor. You can use any kind of ink that you have. I'm just making some marks here because I want to draw a bunch of bees. I just feel like it. And these are going to be their yellow stripes. I could add black line right away, but then the black ink will run into this bright yellow and I just want to let it dry first. Now I'll just freestyle a little bit and explore the possibilities with my skewer. I like how sometimes a big blob is happening at the right moment and I can add more ink if I like where I need it. For example, to make the eyes pop a little bit extra. The drier lines can indicate the delicate texture of the wings. I like it. Well, it's just a fun illustration exploration. And I'll draw a few smaller bees using the skewer with little ink on it, so it seems they are more in the background. There's a lot more to explore. I mean, I just started out and came up with a bunch of bees, but you can draw anything, of course. And I actually think these uh, could also be really fun to draw architecture with, or to draw anything from observation, because you add a little bit of an extra challenge as you run out of ink and then you'll have to figure out your way around uh, in your drawing. Sometimes you will have a big dro drop or a big blob of ink. It will all be adding to the fun in your sketchbook. I hope you will have fun, try it out. If you don't have any bamboo skewers, go look around in your kitchen if you have anything else that you could use instead of it. Something pointy, something that um, you can dip into your ink and then uh, draw with. You might actually discover some really great art tools that you never really thought about as art tools. Have fun, explore, play. By playing, you will learn. One more thing, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you will never miss a weekly tip.